Hi, welcome back to our next geometry lesson. Last time that we met with each other, we talked about triangles. Now remember, triangles are polygons or shapes that have three or more sides. They have straight lines that are connected. And we said that triangles are very important shapes. They're very strong and sturdy and they help construct other shapes and make them strong and sturdy too. And we talked about how one of the shapes that triangles help make sturdy was the square. And remember, here's my square. We put the line across our square and it made our square very strong and sturdy. Now triangles are very important polygons, but there's another family of polygons that are just as important as triangles. And that is what we're going to talk about today. For today's lesson, we're going to be talking about quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals are shapes with four sides and four angles. So let's get started. The first quadrilateral I want to show you is called our basic quadrilateral. And here's why. I just dug into our box of sticks and I found four different colors. So I have my four sides, so I know it's a quadrilateral. This is just a basic quadrilateral because they're all different size sides. They're all different lengths. So this is just our basic four sided quadrilateral. A very popular quadrilateral is the square. Hello, square. Squares are really special too because as you notice, all the sides are pink and that tells me that they're the same size. That's what makes squares so special. They have four equal sides and four right angles. Now you're probably trying to remember what a right angle is and this is a great time to review that. Now angles are when two sides come together and they make a little corner just like that. A right angle though is extra special because do you see this tiny little square? This is my measuring tool. This is my right angle measuring tool. And if I can fit this in perfectly, I know it's a right angle. And it does, look at that. So there's one right angle, two, right angles, three right angles, and four right angles. That's what makes this square so special. It has four equal sides and four right angles. And that is a very special quadrilateral. Another quadrilateral that you might be curious about is this trapezoid. Isn't that such a cool name for a shape, trapezoid? The trapezoid is really special because it has one pair of parallel sides. Now you'll notice I have all different colored sticks, but two of these sticks are parallel. And if you're not really sure what parallel means, because it's been a while, I'm, I have my two little puppies here and we're going to pretend this is like our sidewalks. Parallel lines go in the same direction forever and ever and they never meet. So if the puppies were taking a walk like this down the sidewalk. <laughs> oh, hi. Hey, what you doing? Oh, just taking a walk. They'll never, never meet if the lines keep going and going. Let's try again. Parallel lines never meet. They just keep going and going and they never touch. That's how you know it's a parallel shape. Trapezoids are cool because they have just one pair of parallel lines that keep going while the other sides are different sizes. And that is another quadrilateral. Oh, here's a cool one. This one's a little bit of a tongue twister for me sometimes. 
This one's called a parallelogram. Can you say that? Parallelogram. Parallelograms have opposite sides that are parallel. So these two sides are parallel and these two sides are also parallel. So if I were to pretend I was going for a walk, they never meet. They'll just keep going and going. And the same will go for this side. They keep walking and walking, but they never actually meet. So this shape is really cool because it has two sets of parallel lines, this set and this set. And that is a parallelogram. Oh, I left out these two little shapes over here. We can't leave them out. We have this little shape here, which you probably remember from primary, is our rectangle. Now the rectangle also has four sides, so it's a quadrilateral too. One, two, three, four. The difference between a, a rectangle and a square is that it has two sides that are shorter than the other two sides. Do you notice that? Two are purple, and those are the shorter ones. And then I have my two red sides. And it also has four right angles. Look at that. I bet this could fit. Yep. One, two, three, four. So that's what the square and the rectangle have in common. This measuring tool helped me to see that they each have four right angles. But the difference is the rectangle doesn't have equal sides. And our last shape over here is our rhombus. The rhombus is a really cool shape. It reminds me of like a diamond. It has one, two, three, four equal sides. And I know they're equal because the box of sticks helps me see, to see that. They're all orange sticks and they're all the same exact size. So a rhombus is also a quadrilateral with four equal sides, but it doesn't have, my measuring stick is sticking out, my measuring tool here. Oh, it doesn't fit just right. So it doesn't have right angles, but it does have four equal sides. And that's what makes the rhombus a special shape too. So that was for today's lesson about quadrilaterals. When you get a chance, uh, take a piece of paper or a poster board or something that you have in your house that you can write on. It could even be your sidewalk or your driveway and draw some quadrilaterals and label them. It'll really help you to learn the different quadrilaterals because there are a lot. And if you're an older student, like a second or third year, you might want to even add some little notes about each shape to help you to remember them better. For example, instead of just writing just trapezoid, you might want to make a note that it has one pair of parallel sides. Or you might say this is a square and it has four equal sides and four right angles to help you to remember them. So take a look at these quadrilaterals, try to draw some and label some at your house, and stay tuned for the fun follow-up that I have to go along with this lesson. Thanks for joining me. Bye!